numbers through grouping. Friends, today in this video, in the game of skipping, we will learn how to add numbers scored in a game by making groups. Pilu, what are you looking at? Mummy, I am looking at Asmi, Motu and Golu. Hi! Friends, will you play skipping game with me? Montu, Golu, let us play skipping game with Paki. It will be fun. Yes, yes let's, let's play. play. Look, Pilu, in this skipping game, Montu, Paki, Asmi and Golu will get as many points as they skip without any break. Continuously in one round. Everyone gets two rounds to skip. We will add the points scored in both rounds and see who wins the game. Look, first turn goes to Montu. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the first round, Montu jumps 8 times without a break. So, he gets 8 points. In the second round, Montu jumps 4 times. So, he gets 4 points. If we add these 4 to the points scored in the first round, that is 8, we get 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, Montu got a total of 12 points. This shows that if we add 4 to 8, we get 12. Look, now it is Paki's turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In the second round, she could jump 9 times. So, she gets 9 points. If we add 9 to the points she scored in first round, that is 12, we get 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. So, Paki got a total of 21 points. Look, Mummy, now it is Asmin's turn. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. In the first round, Asmi could jump 16 times without break. So, she gets 16 points. Yes. Now, look. In the second round, Asmi could jump 10 times without break. So, she gets 10 points. If we add 10 to the points she scored in the first round, that is 16, we get 26. Oh, look! Golu could not skip even once in the first round. Yes, so Golu gets 0 points in the first round. Now, it is the second round. Oh, wow! In the second round, Golu could jump 13 times without break. So, he gets 13 points. Yes. So, Pilu, if we add any number to 0, we get the same number. Here, adding 0 and 13, Golu gets 13 points. So, who won the game? Pilu. Out of the total points, 12, 21, 26 and 13, the biggest number is 26. Can you tell me who scored 26? It is Asmi's. Yes, so Asmi won this game. Pilu, let us play an interesting game. Can you turn to the other side? Okay. Now look at the scoreboard. How many points did Montu get in the first round and how many points did Asmi get in the second round? 
Oh, but mummy, you erased both the numbers. How can I find that? I will tell you. Mondo's total score is twelve, so he will take twelve numbers like this. Mondo got four points in the second round, so we will mark this four numbers and count the numbers left out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. So with this, we can find that Montu got eight points in the first round. Yes, on adding eight and four, we get twelve. Yes, and Asmi's total score is twenty-six. So we will get twenty-six numbers like this. Asmi got sixteen points in the first round, so we will mark this sixteen numbers, and we will count the numbers left out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. So from this, we can say that Asmi got ten points in the second round. Oh wow! Well done, Pilu. Come on, let us go now. Yes, let us go. Yes, with Minky and Pilu, today we learn how to add numbers by making groups. Friend, try adding points in the similar way while playing with your friends. In the next video, we will learn to add numbers by making groups with some examples. In this video today we will see an example of adding numbers by making groups with the help of Minky and Pilu Pilu look there are three domino cards kept here the first card is domino 20 the second card is domino 64 and the third card is domino 5 3 now tell me the number of holes on the first card the first card has 2 and 0 holes if we add 0 to any number we get the same number hence on adding 0 holes and 2 holes we get 2 holes Well done, Pilu. Now tell me the number of holes on the second card. The second card has six and four holes. If we add four to six, we get ten holes. Wow, Pilu. Now tell me the number of holes on the third card. The third card has five and three holes. If we add three to five, we get eight holes. You are right. Can you tell me how many holes are there on all three domino cards? To find that, we have to add the number of holes on all three cards. So there are a total of two and ten. Twelve holes and twelve and eight, twenty holes. Well done, Pilu. Come on, let's go. Hmm. So today we saw an example of adding numbers by making groups with the help of Minky and Pilu. You can also practice. adding the number of objects around you with the help of your friends in the next video we will see some common mistakes we make while adding numbers in the groups
today we will learn some interesting facts about adding numbers by grouping them oh wow mummy are you making cherry soup for me today yes but first you have to answer my questions okay ask me look there are 3 cherries and 6 cherries here so what is the total of 3 and 6 3 and 6 will be 36 it's not added like that pilu there are only 3 cherries not 3 tens that is 30 cherries for 36 cherries we should have Three tens and six cherries, because three tens means thirty cherries. When you add six cherries to that, you will get thirty-six cherries. Look, there are only three cherries in one group, and only six cherries in the other group. So now tell me the total number of cherries. Yes. I understood. There are three cherries in the first group. We have to add these six cherries to it. Here are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there are three and six, nine cherries in all. Absolutely correct, Pilu. So did you understand adding numbers in groups? Oh yes. Well done, Pilu. So come on. I will make you a tasty cherry soup. Yes, let's go. Friends, today we learned about adding numbers by grouping them. In the next video, we will learn adding of two digit numbers adding more than two one digit numbers children today pillu has gone to the fair with his pinky auntie and over there pilu learns addition of more than two one digit numbers so come on let us see oh wow this is going to be fun hey you are so happy pilu why won't i be happy auntie you brought me to my favorite place <laughs> hey look aunty a balloon fellow come on let us go there yes let's go pilu can you say that how many groups of balloons are there with the fellow yes there are three groups of balloons can you tell me how many balloons are there in each group In the first group 1 2 3 and 4 balloons. In the second group 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 balloons. And in the third group there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight balloons. Okay, so now tell me how many balloons are there in total? If we add 4 balloons of the first group to 6 balloons of the second group then count after 4 will be 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 10 balloons to these we add 8 balloons of the third group then after 10 count 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and 18 balloons is what we have so the total number of balloons is 18 well done pillu Thank you auntie shall we go and watch magic sure <laughs> 
Let us go now. Look here. There is nothing inside this. I will get a feather stick out of this. Abracadabra, focus, focus. See this, feather stick. I will get three more sticks out of this. Abracadabra, hocus pocus, gilly gilly. Big hands. See, Pilu, this magician has three sticks in the first group, six in the second, five in the third, and four in the fourth group. So now, can you tell me the total number of sticks the magician has? Let us add three and six sticks and count after three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine sticks. To these nine sticks, add five more sticks. So count after nine is ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen sticks. To add fourteen to four more sticks. Count after 14 is 15, 16, 17 and 18. The magician has a total of 18 sticks. Perfect answer, Pillu. So do you know that there is an easy method also to add different one-digit numbers? Another easy method? Yes. The number of sticks is different here. First group has three sticks, six in the second group, five in the third group and the fourth group has four feather sticks. First of all, we will add six sticks to four sticks. We get the number ten. Then we add ten and five sticks. We get number fifteen. To this fifteen, we add three more sticks. We get a total of eighteen sticks. This means that those numbers which add up to 10 have to be added first. You got it right, Pilu. As per the concept of addition, the numbers that add up to 10 have to be added first. This is an easy method to add more than two one-digit numbers. Now let's go, Auntie. We will get a ride on the giant wheel. Yes, let's go. Pillu, let's check out what all are available at the fair. Yes, let's go, auntie. Children, in this video you learn how to add more than two one-digit numbers. And in the next video with Pinky auntie and Pillu at the fair and with some more examples, we will get a better understanding of adding more than two one-digit numbers. Friends, today in this video, we will see some interesting examples of how to add more than two one-digit numbers. Hey, look auntie, what is this? Pillu dear, this is a kind of sweet which is called cotton candy. And look, over here we have green, blue and pink colored cotton candies. So come on. Now tell me, how many cotton candies are there? Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 green candies. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 blue candies. And 1, 2, 3 and 4 pink sweet cotton candies. Well done, Pillu. Now tell me, what is the Total number of cotton candies here. I will add up the number of green and pink sweet cotton candies first. So 6 and 4 makes 10 sweet cotton candies. Now to this 10 add the number of blue candies that is 5 which makes it 15. 
So when we add six, four, and five, we will get a total of fifteen cotton candies. Well done, Pillu. But tell me, why did you first add the number of green and pink cotton candies? Tell me, Pillu. Because I remember that in addition, those numbers that add up to ten, if added first, can make the addition of more than two one-digit numbers easier. Wow! Well done, Pillu. Now let us see the second example. Pillu, look. What is the total number of pinwheels out there? Oh, these are so many. How do I count them? Look, Pillu. There are blue, yellow, red, and purple pinwheels with the seller. First of all, tell me how many blue colored pinwheels are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There are nine blue pinwheels. How many yellow pinwheels are there? One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six yellow pinwheels. How many purple pinwheels are there? One, two, three, and four. There are four purple pinwheels. And how many red pinwheels are there? There is only one red pinwheel. So come on, now tell me how many total number of pinwheels are there? Here, nine blue pinwheels and one red pinwheel will add up to ten. Six yellow pinwheels and four purple pinwheels will add up to ten. So here, ten and ten will make twenty pinwheels. Well done, Pillu. Now let us go. Yes, let us go, Auntie. Tomorrow when I go home, I will tell mummy how much fun we had at the fair. Yes, <laughs> certainly. Friends, today with the help of examples, we learn adding more than two one-digit numbers. In the next video, we will see how Pillu does the addition of more than two one-digit numbers in. front of his mother minky friends today we will learn some interesting facts about the addition of more than two one digit numbers mummy look Pinky auntie got me this number train from the fair. Oh wow! This train is very nice. But tell me, how will you play with it? Pinky auntie has taught me adding more than two one-digit numbers very well. So I will practice that with this train. Okay. So tell me. Which of these numbers should be added to make twelve? I already know that eight and four makes twelve. Here I have to add three numbers. So instead of adding eight and four, I will replace four with three and one. Then adding eight and three will make eleven, and eleven and one will make twelve. Wow, Pillu! Look, now you can replace eight with five and three, then add them to four. Oh yes, adding five and three will make eight, and eight and four will add up to twelve. Now look carefully. By replacing eight with six and two and adding them to four, will also make twelve. Oh yes, six added to two will make eight, and eight and four add up to twelve. Mummy, can I replace eight by seven and one, and then add to four? Then will I be getting twelve? 
Yes, Pillu. Look, seven added to one is eight, and eight added to four is twelve. So come on, now tell me, nine, two, and one will add up to which number? Nine and two add up to eleven, and eleven and one add up to twelve. Come on, now add these four one-digit numbers. Adding five to four will make nine, and adding two to nine will make eleven, and adding eleven and one will make twelve. Oh wow! Here is the three numbers nine plus two plus one equal to twelve, and here in the four numbers five plus four plus two plus one equal to twelve. <laughs> Mummy, this train is such fun. I will play similar games on the train with all my friends. Bye, mummy. I'm going to play. Yes, go and play. Friends, today we learn some interesting and fun facts about adding more than two one-digit numbers. In the next video, we will see how we use groups of tens to add two-digit numbers.